Welcome to Tantrum House Studio D, I'm Kevin Delp. Today we're looking at over 20 board games launching on Kickstarter the first half of June. And before we jump into that, I wanted to mention these awesome t-shirts that Tantrum House is creating. You can get them at our Etsy store, etsy.com slash Tantrum House. Check the link in the description below. We have all 50 states there. We're even talking about doing countries. You can wear them at your next board game convention you go to around the community. And we're going to give one away on this video. Check at the end of the video for how you can have a chance to win one of these t-shirts. And let's get started on today's video. One that I missed that will be coming May 30th is The Hunters AD 2114. It's a campaign game coming soon. Aru is a trick-taking deduction game with an Egyptian theme for 2-4 to four players, and it will be launching around June 1st. Also on June 1st, we'll see an escape-type game. It's from Argix Games. We were able to play a prelude version of this, Apocalypse. When Cutie Met Patootie from the Daniel Zayas Company is coming early June. I talked about this in my last video, but heard it was postponed to the beginning of June. 18 Lilliput will either launch the end of May, early June. This is an 18xx game for two to four players set in the world of Gulliver's Travels. Supreme Leader launches June 4th. Players will vote each other off one by one, determining which among you is the Supreme Leader. So I guess this is like a game of political survivor. Hey Comrade launches June 4th. It's a fun and fast-paced card game about creating your own five-year plan to take control of the Communist Party. It's for two to four players and takes about 30 to 60 minutes to play. On June 5th, we'll see Netatanka. It's a worker placement game for two to four players. At the dawn of the Netatanka's life, all the tribes participate in the Hanwi. The Hanwi is a competition for which each tribe names a young chief who has to show his generosity and his ability to provide for his tribe. Whoever wins the Hanwi becomes a new Netatanka. June 5th, Freshwater Game Company brings Circuit Breaker. It's a casual strategy game that can be played solo or with up to two friends. All players attempt to successfully rewire their own house in time for a hastily scheduled house party and will score points by connecting a variety of quirky electrical doodads to their home circuits. Resource management and crafty rodent will be put to use in a fun and cheeky race to be the most happening place on the block. Airflix launches June 5th from Dice Sports Limited. It's a fast-paced Second World War dexterity-based dogfighting game for two or more players. It's in an all-action battle of strategy and skill. You need to outwit and outflick your opponents to achieve total aerial dominance. This is the perfect action dogfighting game for both the hardened wargamers and casual players. On June 7th, we'll see a reprint of Mythic Battles Pantheon from Monolith. You will draft warbands and fight your enemies with the might of the most powerful beings from Greek mythology at your back. There'll be some Kickstarter exclusives as well. June 7th, we'll see Arena Bots. This appears to be a game of robots fighting each other in an arena. Solar City launches June 10th from Games Factory. It's a complex, meaning easy to learn but hard to master, city building game set in the solar punk universe where all citizens must restore the destroyed environment by building new air friendly cities with skyscrapers and sky gardens. Various buildings are already being used in the real world in such manner. Two main pledge versions will be available a core for $55 and a deluxe version for $75. Both come with the two expansions. For the first 48 hours of the campaign, they're going to drop the price by $10 for all the pledges. June 11th, we'll see Gorus Maximus from Inside Up Games. It's a trick-taking, blood-dripping, zebra-decapitating card game of gladiatorial combat. Mythic Games is bringing Solomon Kane on June 12th. Based upon the stories by Robert E. Howard, the creator of Conan, Solomon Kane is a narrative adventure board game featuring exceptional 35mm miniatures. It's a co-op game of storytelling, resource management, and tactical miniatures play. Players take the part of the invisible powers of good and light who aid Solomon Kane in his quest to overcome the forces of darkness. Each player is one of the four cardinal virtues, courage, prudence, temperance, and justice, each with special powers that reflect their unique role. Inoka from XYZ Game Labs is launching June 12th. Once per year, each village sends their brightest competitors to clash in a game called Achkai. The winner is decided by retrieving the most sacred stones and claiming the leaf totem. The champion becomes a nature spirit guide for the year. With it, they will control the ebb and flow of the forest, the river, and the plains. 
Plane Crafters from Paisley Board Games will launch on June 12th. It's for two to four players, and they assume the roles of plane crafters working for the Knickernacker Estate. Players compete to hire the best employees, assemble the most productive factory, and deliver planes to Master Pennington. Maybe the planes they build aren't always the prettiest or even symmetrical. That's okay. Master Pennington doesn't mind. Draw Lab Entertainment will launch Witless Wizards on June 12th. It's a fast and humorous card game for two to four players played in about 15 to 25 minutes. It has elements of press your luck and set collection. Evil Corp will launch June 12th. It's for three to six players. It's a game of internet billionaires and they are trying to save the world no matter the price. It's a board game that pits CEO against CEO in an epic battle of evil plans. Play as one of the six archetype intent on world domination at any cost. Doll Guards Academy will launch June 14th from Mind Clash Games. It's an expansion to Jakirian. It expands the magical world and gameplay of Jakirian with a slew of exciting new features. A new location, the Academy, a new specialist, the Protégé, and new quartet of magicians, and it adds a solo mode, the Corrupted Air. Lone Knight Games is launching So Dead in mid-June. It's a player elimination survival game. You're going to hunt and destroy during the apocalypse, and it plays up to 24 people. Startropolis is launching mid-June from Peterson Games. It's a modular 3D model space station game for two to four players. Each turn, players purchase modules and connect them to the existing 3D space station, which creates revenue allowing them to purchase more modules. The player with the most credits in cash and module value at the end of the game wins. On June 14th, we'll see Rising for the Throne, set in a fantastical medieval world. Each player will control a clan of the kingdom and try to impose its supremacy over the rest. The game takes about 30 to 45 minutes to play, and it's for 2 to 6 players. And two that I'm keeping my eye on, that I know will be launching in June, I'm just not sure when, is Death May Die by Simon, it's a Lovecraftian themed game, and Thunderstone Quest from AEG. So I'm pretty sure the reprint for Mythic Battles Pantheon is going to be pretty big. I'm personally interested in the Trakirian expansion. Doll Guards Academy sounds pretty cool. Looking forward to that. So how can you have a chance to win one of these cool t-shirts? Well, in the comments below, tell me why your state or country is the best state or country. And tell me if you liked any of the games that was on the list, if you had any. I'll give um, everyone one week to answer in the comments, and then I'll randomly pick one person to win one of these cool t-shirts. Well, thanks for joining me on today's video and be sure to subscribe to Tantrum House.